Hello, this is Chris Saraga for the 365. You are watching part two of our river adventure with Mayfly River Adventures. Uh, going down the Feather River by kayak. It was an awesome float. We had a great time and I hope you enjoyed the video that follows. If you are watching this, this is my last video that I will be doing uh, in the continental United States. Uh, from this point on, I will be in Barbados until July 1st. So I hope that you follow all those uh, videos and that you enjoy what you see there. Uh, hopefully there will be some drone videos there there will definitely be some steady cam videos and you will see places that you did not think that you would see because that is also what I will be doing I will be seeing places I never thought I would see so thank you for watching as always like share and subscribe make sure you tell your friends about the YouTube channel really need your help getting this out there I would really like to show everybody what uh, Barbados looks like so have a great day and as always stay safe thank you Orville for being who you are thank you for anyone who's watching and I will see you guys all tomorrow bye Dog park, the far side of the dog park. It actually looks like it fared pretty darn well, doesn't it? That dog's still here. Yeah, that dog's completely fine. Yeah, I'd say that in the dog park. Oh, you can see the high water line on the fence. You see it there? So it's about, looks like about two feet in there. Who knows, that might be good for the dog park. It might be cleaned out. We got some geese hanging out with us. <laughs> oh, they're too wily for us. Yep, the dog park dock is perfectly, perfectly fine. Like it was never even touched. Somebody built that well. So, Ed, I want to brake to the right. I want to brake. You brake on the side you want to go in that direction. Okay. All right. Okay. Wave high. She's bathing in the water. She's taking a bath.
going through the outlet, the new outlet to the dog park lake. They're shooting, they're shooting the trees. Got some ducks right there. There we go. <laughs> I, be I believe, I believe my friends are stuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so cool. I wonder if the camera can get that. Nope, can't. Yeah. All right, how do we want to do this? Straight out, right? Straight on till morning. Oh, look. There's a little eddy. So. Did all this, Ed, was all this rock here before? Uh, no. Is that all new? And so all this is new also. Alright, so when you get out there, it's good. Lightning? Oh, wow. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, that's good. You got to kind of turn into it, right? Oh, well, we're not scratching. Oh, yep, we are. It's barely touching. It's like you've done this your whole life. Yeah. I see some rollers down there. Well, braking is easier. <laughs> some people just fishing out there. Is that a good spot to fish at? I don't know. Fish this river. Oh, you don't? Well, I am certainly no fisherman, so you could have told me anything I wouldn't have known. <laughs> that, those clouds are kind of ominous. I really don't like to fly, and I'm going to fly out through those in a couple days, so... Louis came from where, Ed? Oh, wow. It couldn't be much more than the diversion pool, though, right? Or the diversion dam. Uh, yeah, there's a set before. There's a
And what's, what is this place called as of right now? As of right now, it's just 68 Stewart Court. 68 Stewart Court, okay. But the goal, the name, the future name of it is going to be the River's Edge. The River's Edge. The okay. River's Edge. Cool. Why don't you tell me a little bit about the River's Edge? Oh, the River's Edge is like a dream that's going to be so awesome for the whole community and for tourists. Our attraction here, it's going to be a primitive campground. Primitive meaning that even um, if you have an RV, you'll be able to RV, bring your RVs in here, but you're only going to have water and, and um, power. Some people will have water and power, some of them will just have the water. And then tent camping is just it. It's exactly it, just primitive. Right. You come out here and you are going to have certain areas where you're going to be able to set up tents. And because it's along the Feather River, it sits on, we have, there's exactly 46 acres, but out of the 46, about maybe 39 of it is really accessible for, you know, riding bicycles and um, we're going to, you know, like quads because mm -hmm. it is a really huge place and we right. want to keep it very recreational. But it also is going to serve as an events venue okay. because we have this section here will be a lot of camping. On the other side of the property is going to be the events venue where we're going to be able to put up a stage area okay. for live music, awesome. showing movies on the river, and having access to a movie screen that's going to be able to do drive-in movies. Oh, that's here. cool. And that so cool. we want to just kind of create something, uh, number one, very family friendly, number two, where community and other nonprofit agencies or any agency can come out here and rent for minimal price and then camping will be very awesome price. So is RVing. But the goal is something that the community will be able to access, either to park for a small fee, mm -hmm. and then also to be get in the water and off the water. Because a lot of us that are working on here, are very we have grandchildren or children right. of our own, so that is like our biggest desire, is leaving and doing something that everyone can come and do and be, financially um, accessible to anybody that's great so the money that we make that we generate on this will allow us to keep our rates low and also provide what has always been one of our second goals is to provide camping for veterans okay for free they can come out here and camp and for foster families and then other families within the community or surrounding communities that sometimes financially it's hard to go camping for a couple of days right. you, you act you put in the cost of food fuel it gets expensive so we're going to have a program where we'll be able to have the funds in there to um, cover any of the expenses for other families that come in and camp that's awesome so and we're really jazzed about it um we're in the final stages but because of the flooding right. we have been kind of pushed back a couple of months and everything's kind of taken over again Nat nature's decided <laughs> to move back in so we still have a little bit of more work, cosmetic work to do, and um, I kind of look at it in the way of, you ever seen that movie Far and Away? Yes. Okay, where everybody's ready, you know, mm -hmm. they just can't wait to put that stake in the ground. Well, on our first opening season, before we even start putting assigning campgrounds, we're going to have a free camping weekend. Oh, awesome. We're going to invite the community to come out and help us develop where they think a campsite should be single campsite, group campsites, large campsites, a wedding venue area, and let the community be a part of it because that is what it, it's for. It's a community that's gonna come in here and we're gonna work together. So when we do our up and functional and we have our events and we plan to have a nice little snack bar and hopefully down the road, an area where you can come off the road, off the river and enjoy a nice cold drink. But we want to invite other agencies to come in here and say, you know what? we'd like this calendar date and you're able to come out here and sell food for that entire weekend or even the week to raise money for your organization so that's where we are very excited about making it a community um a community campground that's great so, so how do people get hold of you right now right now the best place to get a hold of me is on facebook okay just get on there christina kelly find me on that you can go on to that page and you'll find another little offspring that says mayfly river adventures okay and so that's pretty. That's, that's the best way. Until we finalize everything, and I learn a little bit more about computers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's the uh, that's the best way. Or you can call me. You can get a hold of me on the phone. And what things are you doing right now? Right now, we have been just hosting small little things to kind of um, such as 
oh, let's see, one of them we just got done doing is with the 365. <laughs> Getting someone down to do a drone, drive on the Feather River to show people that it's safe and that we want to get people back on that water. I think the longer that people stay off of the water, that it's going to take that much harder for that um, part of the, the river right. to come back to life. And when you look at it, we've got the lake above us and it's just like a, a vein that just runs through a body. And this is part of that vein through our, our community is this river. It's a, a, not just recreation, but it's our heartbeat. And if we don't use it, it's just going to slow down. I know I don't want people to stop using it. And I just am very excited about it. The potential that our community has by just getting together and just saying, you know what, we're going to do this. We have to do it. And rather than talk about it and say, oh, I would love to put a campground in, I would love to have an area where people can come out and have fun and watch movies or, yeah, we don't have this and we don't have that. Well, you know what? We're going to have it. That's great. We're, we're going to have it, but we got to do it together. So, so tell, tell them one more time how to get hold of you. Okay. Christina Kelly, Mayfly okay. River Adventures. Life is sweet. I'm sorry. Life is underscore sweet <laughs> at att.net. Okay. And you can also reach me by phone at 530-403-3948. Call me. We'd love to take you down on a moonlight drift where you're going to start next month. It's going to be our first drift. We're going to have live music. And then we are going to have a free camping day where we're just going to ask everybody, just load up, come on out, and let's have some fun and let's create just something that we absolutely need as a community here in Orville. All right, thank you. Thank you, Chris. I mean, can't, I'm so excited you came with us down the river. <laughs> it was uh, very, very fun. It was very cool, huh? <laughs> thank you, everybody.